Biography of Famous Freedom Fighter Bhagat Singh Welcome to Mr. Biography YouTube channel. This video is about the biography of famous freedom fighter Bhagat Singh. Hope you will enjoy this education-based video and share it with your friends and family. Let's start the topic. One of the most important revolutionaries in the Indian nationalist movement is Bhagat Singh. On September 28, 1907, Kishan Singh and Vidyarthi gave birth to Bhagat Singh in Banga, Layalpur district, now Pakistan. When he was born, his uncles Ajit and Swen Singh, as well as his father Kishan Singh, were all imprisoned for protesting the 1906 colonization bill. Being raised in a politically conscious household where his family supported the Ghadar party, young Bhagat Singh developed a sense of patriotism. Bhagat Singh started supporting Mahatma Gandhi's non-cooperation movement at a very young age. Bhagat Singh openly resisted the British and carried out Gandhi's request by setting fire to publications that were sponsored by the government. In fact, he quit school altogether to enroll in Lahore's National College. The 1919 Jallianwala Bagh massacre and the 1921 murder of unarmed Akali demonstrators at the Nanakana Sahib both occurred when he was a teenager, and both events strongly influenced his patriotic viewpoint. Bhagat Singh's family adhered to the Gandhian philosophy of using non-violence to achieve Swaraj, and for a while, he also backed the Indian National Congress and the objectives of the non-cooperation movement. After the Chauri Chaura incident, Gandhi demanded that the movement against non-cooperation be abandoned. Bhagat Singh disassociated himself from Gandhi's non-violent effort because of the choice and joined the Young Revolutionary Movement instead. Thus began his career as the most well-known proponent of a bloody uprising against the British Raj. The Nojawan Bharat Sabha was established in March 1925, with Bhagat Singh serving as its secretary, and was motivated by nationalist movements in Europe. In addition, Bhagat Singh joined the radical Hindustan Republican Association, HRA, which he eventually renamed the Hindustan Socialist Republican Association, HSRA with fellow revolutionaries Chintra Sheikh Harazad and Sukhdev. Bhagat Singh's early actions consisted primarily of penning critical articles against the British government and printing and distributing leaflets explaining the fundamentals of a violent insurrection with the goal of overthrowing the government. To protest the Simon Commission's arrival, La La Large Patrai led an all-parties parade that marched toward the Lahore train station on October 30, 1928. To stop the protesters from moving forward, the police used a violent lati charge. The revolutionaries were not able to recognize J.P. Saunders who was assistant superintendent of police, they thought that he was a Scot and killed him instead. Bhagat Singh quickly left Lahore in order to avoid getting caught. To avoid being recognized, he shaved his beard and cut his hair, violating the core values of Sikhism. Bhagat Singh and Bhattukesh were that exploded a bomb in Delhi's Central Assembly on April 8, 1929, from the visitor's gallery. They also raised pro-revolutionary banners and threw leaflets. Because they planned to utilize the trial as a platform to propagate their message of revolution and anti-imperialism, neither revolutionary resisted being taken into custody. Throughout the entire arrest, they screamed in Kilabs and Dabad slogans. The phrase gained a lot of traction with young people and many liberation warriors. They never intended to hurt anyone physically, thus there were no casualties in the incident. Their claimed objective was to make the deaf hear. Auguste Valiant, a French anarchist who was hanged by France for a similar incident in Paris, served as inspiration for Bhagat Singh, the incident's mastermind. Both Bhagat Singh and Dutt received life sentence in jail after being found guilty in the incident's trail. At this point, Bhagat Singh had also been connected to the J.P. Saunders murder case. Bhagat Singh was charged with the murder of Saunders together with Raj Guru and Sukhdev. The violent protest was met with harsh criticism from the political body. In response, Singh said, Force, when used violently, is violence and is, thus, morally indefensible, but when it is used in support of a righteous cause, it has its moral legitimacy. Trial proceedings began in May, 
with Singh attempting to represent himself and Bhutukesh Wardhat being represented by Afsir Ali. The explosion's malevolent and illegal motive was cited by the court in its decision in favor of a life sentence. Bhagat Singh Lahore Conspiracy Case and Trial Bhagat Singh Lahore Conspiracy Case and Trial Three people, Hans Raj Vora, Jay Gopal, and Fanindra Nath Ghosh, turned government approvals, which resulted in a total of 21 arrests, including those of Sukhdev Jitendra Nath Das, and Raj Guru. The police raided the HSRA bomb factories in Lahore shortly after the sentencing and detained several well-known revolutionaries. For the murder of Assistant Superintendent Saunders, the making of bombs, and the Lahore conspiracy case, Bhagat Singh was detained once again. On the orders of the Viceroy, Lord Irwin, a special tribunal made up of Justices J. Cloudstream, Agha Heather and G. C. Hilton was established on May 1, 1930 due to the sluggishness of the legal proceedings. The tribunal had the authority to conduct the trial without the presence of the defendant, and it was a biased trial that rarely followed the standard legal rights principles. Bhagat Singh's sense of patriotism had been embedded in him since a very young age. He was raised to value nationalism and yearns for an independent India free from British rule. He coined the phrase Inkilab Zindarbad, which eventually became the war cry of the campaign for Indian independence. Bhagat Singh was born a Sikh, but after seeing numerous Hindu-Muslim riots and other religious upheavals, he began to lean toward atheism. Bhagat Singh thought that in order to attain something as precious as independence, imperialism's exploitative aspect needed to be completely eradicated. On March 23, 1931, at 7.30 in the morning, Bhagat Singh and his friends Rajguru and Sukhde were hanged at the Lahore jail. They allegedly shouted their favorite slogans, such as Inkilabs and Daba then down with British imperialism, as they marched joyfully to the execution location on the bank of Sitluj River. Bhagat Singh was the perfect role model for the youth of his period because of his passionate patriotism and developed idealism. Bhagat Singh became the voice of his generation through his criticism of the British imperial government in writing and speech. Numerous people have questioned his dramatic departure from Gandhi's non-violent path to Swaraj, yet with his daring embrace of martyrdom, he encouraged hundreds of teenagers and young adults to fully engage in the freedom movement. Bhagat Singh won the title of Greatest Indian in a 2008 India Today poll, beating out Subhash Chandra Bose and Mahatma Gandhi, demonstrating his standing in modern society. Bhagat Singh was an Indian revolutionary freedom fighter who was hanged to death by British colonizers at the age of 23 years. Fondly known as Shaheed, Martyr, Bhagat Singh, he is considered a national hero of India's freedom struggle against colonial rule. Gandhi, who advocated for non-violence, disagreed with Bhagat Singh and his allies' use of violence to obtain freedom. That didn't imply Gandhi supported hanging Bhagat Singh and his pals insinually. Thanks a lot for watching our professional biography videos on Mr. Biography YouTube channel. We hope you will enjoy this education-based video and help us to promote our YouTube channel by Like share and subscribe Mr. Biography YouTube channel Thanks for watching full video